Today I will show you how to make the server stutter effect. Yo, it's Bobikas here, and real quick guys, I just want to announce that I released my glitch presets pack. It is absolutely my favorite pack on my entire website, and I've spent like pretty much like the whole summer making it and has over 25 glitch presets which are actually ridiculously good so i would definitely recommend to check it out on my poikas.com website but anyways let's begin all right guys so we have a clip of osama -san from his free x music video and also just want to say i got into a new apartment right now guys so yeah i'm going to be living here for maybe even my entire life i mean probably not my entire life but you'll see more videos from this apartment so let me know what i should have in the background all right anyways let's get to the tutorial so how do we actually make this effect well we don't need to use any plugins anything we can just go like maybe four frames forward press ctrl d and now just drag the four frames forward like this actually you can do that or you can just not drag them and press ctrl shift d to cut it and press delete on this and drag this layer right here here and press ctrl alt t at the same time and you will start to see a time remap so what i have just done is made like this little i guess stutter but we don't want it to look like that what we want to do is we want to press on here and go to the last frame right about here and press on this and now what you want to do is switch between places of these so you need to put this uh like right there and this right here so yeah we need to actually put this right here and this will create a little reverse star as you can see it actually looks crazy so yeah we took four frames but we could have taken a less or more usually it's around four to three frames so just keep that in mind so yeah i think that looks really cool but this also depends on the frame rate you're editing in so i'm editing in 24 fps so that's why it was four for me but if you're editing in like let's say 60 fps this might need to be like eight frames so just keep that in mind and yeah we can go onto a different clips and just mess around so like for example this one ah uh, we can press ctrl d and we can actually take i think we should take five here so yeah let's press ctrl shift d and now let's move it five frames forward press ctrl d you know do the same thing time remap here time remap here and let's add this there and let's add this there and let's see how this looks yeah that looks pretty cool maybe this needs to be a bit shorter but actually if you have a longer starter i think it mixes really well with glitch effects so we can actually just go and type glitch and if you have my glitch presets back then what you can do is just press ctrl to y choose your fps to your likings i have a lot of options and just add for example glitch one like literally the first glitch preset press ctrl shift d and delete the first part and just let's just have it on top of the whole stutter so yeah let's press ctrl shift d at the end and delete there wait, wait. oh yeah, yeah 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 that is insane so yeah. if you ever wanted like a really cool reverse star then glitch presets absolutely does the work and i just showed you literally one effect and there's a bunch but just keep in mind that for these crazy glitches to work you do need two plugins which is signal and also the sapphire plugin so if you have both of these plugins then i would 100 percent recommend to check this back out it's literally my favorite pack right now on my entire website and just as a thank you for watching the video i would also like to let you know that if you use code glitch 5 at the checkout you will save five dollars off on the glitch presets pack but anyways guys that's that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know i can suggest what i should have in the background and yeah it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya